Hey friends, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to make a different kind of video and I wanted to discuss the topic how to get good at calisthenics and um, what it takes to get really good at it. Here I will mainly talk about my own experience and what I have learned in the past and basically all the things that I think are worth to mention in this video and yeah, stay tuned, maybe you will find something interesting. When I started my personal fitness journey almost five years ago I never really watched any tutorials uh, and I never watched any videos on the internet how to do things I just went outside and I just looked for the nearest calisthenics park in my in my area and um, the nearest location where I could train outdoor and um, I just found some some pull-up bars and some dip bars and um, in the beginning I just started to, to train and basically all what I did was doing pull-ups, doing dips, push-ups, all the basic stuff that I already could could do somehow. And um, yeah, you can also say that I just went into the cold water. But however, I still made great progress in my opinion. And for example, the first thing that I wanted to learn first uh, in calisthenics was how to do a muscle-up. It took me around one month to actually achieve my first muscle-up. Of course, it was the worst form you can ever imagine. But the joy I felt after achieving my first muscle up was just amazing and this feeling, I will never forget this feeling, how I felt after achieving my first muscle up and just soon after that I also achieved a lot of different kinds of um, skills, then the ring muscle up followed and all the repetitions um, in the basic exercise like pull ups, dips, they just increased um, massively. And even without watching any tutorials or any videos on the internet about how to do things, I learned these things all by my own. Week after week, month after month, I just started to see results. Of course, I could also learn all these things by watching tutorials on the internet. And probably the progress would be even faster um, by watching these kind of videos or these kind of tutorials or basically to get any tips from other people. When I started to watch videos on the internet, I find that they ne never really helped me personally and I never really gained something from it. Because of that, I stopped watching any tutorials on the internet and I basically never watched them again. I have just learned that any tutorial on the internet based on any calisthenics skills are not 100% perfect. In the principle, that might be true and good, but I can say to you that you can't expect to watch one tutorial and think that you will achieve the perfect form or to achieve the best perfect progress. The reason why I think like that is because every person is individual and for example, every person and every body is different than the other. Some are for example taller than the others, some are shorter, some have longer arms. Just in general, for example, the bone structure from any person, this can be really different from person to person. And that's for example, when you see, <laughs> see. <laughs> No, that's for example, when you see two person performing the same exercise, they might be performing it different and you might be thinking that, the, that one person is doing a bad form or doing the form incorrect. But this might not be true. This person might be just have a different bone structure than the other. Probably he is not able to perform this exercise the same as the other person. And this is completely normal. And I just think that you will learn the perfect form for yourself by just self-discovery. And besides that, it was always a huge joy for me when I learned things by my own. I think you can, for example, you can watch any tutorials on the internet and do it and just do it by plan. And of course, eventually you will achieve it. But I think this takes all the joy away and all the happiness that comes with the journey. And I think that's the most important thing to keep you motivated too because if you just follow plans and you will achieve things it doesn't really make fun because you already expected the result and that's why personally I always prefer to learn things by my own and that's another reason why I need, never really watch any tutorials on the internet about how to do things but don't get me wrong I always think it's a great idea to get tips uh, from persons who are more experienced than you because they already went through this journey and through the progress and they know what kind of mistakes they did and this might be beneficial for you.
but to to always look for tutorials and from tips from other people i think it's not the best idea if you want you know if you want to get the most joy from this journey but now let's come back to the most important question and the question why i'm actually doing this video um how to get good at calisthenics honestly when i started my fitness journey i never really asked myself this question because i already know the answer to this question the answer is actually really easy and the answer is that you just have to put in the work and you just have to start doing it let's say for example that you want to get good at pull-ups all you have to do is just start doing pull-ups and the most important thing here is that you have to do it constantly let's say we stay at the example of the pull-ups you want to get good at pull-ups now what do you have to do for myself i would suggest you to do them constantly i would say that you have to train pull-ups for the bare minimum of two times a week optimal would be three times a week best would be four times a week practice makes perfect it's as easy as it sounds you can't expect to train pull-ups for one to two weeks and get the best results because this will take months or years of consistent training and of consistently doing this kind of thing to get really good at it and in my opinion it doesn't matter what you do if you want to be better at football if you want to be better at chess if you want to be better at learning or you want to be better at pull-ups the only thing or the most important thing you have to do is to start doing it and do it regularly if you consistently do something and when you put in the work you will get good at anything you want it's all about consistently repeating repeating and repeating this one thing you want to get good at it. to summarize this whole video into one sentence so if you want to get good at something you have to start doing it and you have to start doing it regularly so as you can see he's my older brother <laughs> and i will ask him the question how to get good at something so how do you get good at something just do it yes <laughs> Coming to an end now, I wish you all the best and stay progressive.